Hey guys, this is Mike G here and welcome back to Dream Battles. And in this one we are going to face off the Incredible Hulk versus Superman. Now, there's something that I just want to clear off before we start this battle. Um, we are not getting in depth with the comic books. Now usually I somewhat go in depth with the comic books even though I don't know them, I do a lot of my research. I only use them for evidence. but this battle I cannot do that because these two have fought before in the comics so I am ignoring the comics and I'm going on the knowledge that I have of these two superheroes just in general you know by their powers and abilities and such I'm not getting in depth with any comics whatsoever because the comic book that these two fought in um, I just felt like it wasn't right and I just want to give my thoughts on who would win in a legit fight? Because obviously, you know, it depends on the writer and everybody has a certain opinion, you know? And obviously my opinions are different than how the comic went. So, let's do this, alright? Now, this battle, I think, is very interesting because, you know, you have probably the only Marvel superhero who has the capabilities of taking on somebody like Superman. I think Hulk um, should not be underestimated whatsoever. I think he does have the capabilities of catching up there with Superman at some point. Now, at the beginning of the battle, I would say no. Hulk does not stand a chance. Um, Superman is above him, but there'll be a certain point in the battle over time where Hulk is going to start catching up soon because, you know, as we all know, his emotions target his power. Um, if he's calm, then he turns back into Banner, but the angrier he, he gets, the stronger he gets, and all of his attributes um, start to rise over time dramatically as he gets angrier. So his power is increasing. And this means that there will be a point in the battle where Hulk is going to catch up. And I don't think Hulk is going to be worn out. I think Hulk is going to be able to stand toe on toe with Superman. And with that said, you know, let's talk about these attributes, shall we? And let's start with strength. Now with strength, I think at the start of the battle, once Bruce transforms into Hulk, um, I think Superman definitely has the advantage right at the very beginning because Hulk in general when he first transforms is much weaker and Superman is above him definitely at the very start of the battle. So with strength Superman has the advantage but depending on how far Hulk goes, Hulk can either become just as strong as Superman or even stronger um, depending on how far he goes so you know this one I have to give to Hulk because he is always getting stronger than his enemies he's always going to become stronger at some point and I think his strength will overwhelm Superman very much and I mean who knows how strong Hulk can become I mean we don't know the exact limit that Hulk can go there there is no end point with that. So, you know, Hulk is obviously stronger than Superman, just not at the very beginning of the battle, I would say at all. It just depends on how angry he gets. Speed, stamina. When it comes to speed, Superman obviously has the advantage. He's one of the fastest superheroes out there. And Hulk, for his size, surprisingly, is extremely fast, but he's not as fast as Superman. But I would say he is fast enough to at least go hand-to-hand -hand on combat with Superman. So that's a really good thing. You're, ne you're, you're gonna need some speed on your size. And luckily Hulk has some speed behind him, and it's surprisingly fast, but just not like Superman. So speed definitely goes to Superman. Now when it comes to stamina, I would say, you know, Superman has no stamina whatsoever. I mean, the guy never gets worn out. And, you know, Hulk can be worn out, but since his um, attributes are rising while he's getting angry, you know, all that adrenaline is going through his body, and he also is not going to get so tired. You know, this guy just keeps going and keeps going. So, when it comes to stamina, I would say they're actually very equal. You know, these guys just keep on going. So, yeah, I would say they're pretty equal when it comes to stamina. Now, intelligence, um, this one to me I thought was a little difficult because 
Um, obviously, Superman is smarter than Hulk, but, you know, when it comes to a battle, oh, man, you know, these two are so good at, at fighting, but I would have to give the advantage to Hulk just a little because of his environment, you know? He's a genius when it comes to his environment. He's a master at using his environment compared to Superman, because Superman is kind of afraid to use cars and poles at times if there's innocence around, um, compared to Hulk, who's a raging monster and will do whatever he can just to, you know, um, beat up his opponent. Um, for example, he can take a car, rip it in half, and use them as gauntlet fist. I mean, so creative and so dangerous with his environment. You know, take a semi and make a disc or a skateboard out of it. I mean, there's so much that Hulk can do in, in his environment compared to Superman. So at that point of view, I would say Hulk is a lot better um, in his environment. But when it comes to common sense and fighting in general, I would say Superman would somewhat have the upper hand, even though he doesn't really have any training that I know of. Um, he still would have somewhat of an advantage just because he's so intelligent. Um, so I would say somewhat these two are equal, but maybe a little bit more in Hulk because of his environment. And yeah, I, I would have to go with Hulk just a little, but I really don't know what to decide on this part of the battle. Powers, abilities, let's start with Hulk. Now Hulk doesn't really have any powers. Um, he really doesn't have anything special like Superman has, but if I were to say if he did have somewhat of a power, I would say his emotions. Yeah, I think his anger is his strongest power, you know, because it raises everything on the Hulk, on his strength, once again. You know, I've repeated it like three times in this battle, but I would say that right there is the most powerful thing Hulk has, is his emotions. Um, he obviously has super strength, he has somewhat super speed, um, his abilities, he has the ability to clap and it causes a big wave. Um, it can actually be very powerful, um, probably able to knock down Superman if, if it was strong enough. His Hulk smash can cause a huge devastation of chaos and destruction. I mean, that thing can be ridiculously powerful depending on, um, you know, how, how angry he is. And so much more that Hulk can do. Um, but, you know, Hulk is just simple. He's really, he, he really doesn't have abilities like Superman, you know, with like energy beams or heat ray or, you know, this ability or whatever. He's more simple than anything, but at the same time, he's so powerful. It's just, it, it's really interesting, really. Um, you would think that not having these abilities would not help Hulk, but, you know, his abilities are perfect. So, yeah, that's really Hulk's abilities, and I honestly think it outmatches Superman at some points. That's just my opinion. Alright, now with Superman, I'm just gonna say this now, I know Superman has a lot of ridiculous powers now, but we are going old school with Superman. We're going with the old school, casual powers that he normally has and that everybody knows like heat vision cooling breath ability super speed strength all that such okay now he has super strength um he's gonna need that against the hulk um which i think over time you know hulk obviously is gonna overwhelm him like i said he also he also has super speed he's a lot faster than hulk always will be um he also has heat ray vision um now that can actually really mess up Hulk, and it could slow him down, um, depending if Hulk gets used to it, because he kind of adapts during a battle too. I, I always notice that, that Hulk kind of adapts. So he could adapt to that, but I think not. No, nah, I, I, I think that Heat Ray Vision is a huge advantage. That's That could really mess up Hulk. Cooling Breath ability, I think that would just slow Hulk down, but it wouldn't really do anything. Um, Superman can also read minds. That's another thing, too. I think Superman has a huge advantage on. Um, he could read what Hulk is going to do next. And so that's a really big advantage. And he can also see through walls. That's an, I always forget the little things that Superman can do. And I think 
those abilities could definitely help out Superman during a battle. I mean, Superman has these little abilities that help him out so much during a battle that you really never notice because you always forget about it. And so, yeah, Superman does somewhat have an advantage over the Hulk at a lot of points as well, too. So once again, they're very equal. All right. Now, if I were to choose a winner, um, I would choose Hulk. Yes, I think Hulk can beat Superman. Here's the thing. Hulk is a very overwhelming character, in my opinion. I think he could be overwhelming for about anybody. I don't care who it is. There's a point where Hulk is going to overwhelm you. He can't always be that type of character that is just going to stay down. You know, he's going to overwhelm you. And depending on the situation that happens, um, which there really isn't going to be a situation where... You know, his emotions are targeted to calm down. You know, this guy is increasingly going to become stronger. And it's not the first time Superman has been overwhelmed, guys. We've seen this before. Um, and Hulk is going to overwhelm him. I just think Hulk is going to overwhelm the guy and he's going to beat him. That's why I think Hulk wins. You know, you guys can say all you want about Hulk being weaker and Superman would kick his butt, whatever. But... And I, I, heck, I might be biased because Hulk is my favorite superhero, but I'm always honest with my paddles, guys, and I just think Hulk would win. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this video was supposed to be uploaded tomorrow, but I'm going to be extremely busy, so I'm just uploading this for today. So you guys got two dream battles today. So yeah, um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more dream battles. And yeah. My G off your screen. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. See you guys soon.